this video i'm gonna talk about in the beginning why i decided to lock my hair which is something i never addressed on this channel and i want to tell you guys why and also i'm going to talk about like some of the struggles that i went through in the beginning how i overcame those and you know just try to offer some encouragement for those of you who might be on a lock journey or who might be thinking about locking your hair i hope you can take something away from this video that will help you with your decision I decided to lock my hair because of simplicity and minimalism and the beauty of locks and that's basically it um, I wanted locks for about two years before I decided to really commit to the idea of locking my hair and what I mean by that is like two years before locking my hair I would say man I want locks like I think I want locks I like to lock my hair and I would just save pictures of locks and you know research how to start locks but at the same time, I still loved my curls and I wasn't really ready to let go of, you know, my wash and go, my twist out, you know, my poofiness, my afro and all this stuff, which is completely normal and amazing and wonderful. Loose natural hair is. That's why I say I had to get to that point to where I really felt like within that this is something that I wanted to do. But I just really wanted something a little bit more simple, a little bit more um low maintenance than just your regular protective style or anything like that and i really just love the way locks look so i got to a point to where i just remember one day i felt like you know i don't feel like i'm connected or attached to my curls anymore like i feel like i can be okay without my loose curls everywhere and i really want to start this lock journey and that's when i kind of knew that i was ready to do it and um to prepare myself for that though some people i know they'll do faux locks to kind of see how they like it that's one thing you can do but what i did was i did loose um twists i wore my hair in loose twists very often and i kept them in loose twists for as long as i could and if you guys haven't seen i have a video on how to do loose twists and i'll insert a picture to show you guys what i'm talking about as in loose twists but loose twists kind of feel like locks to me they kind of mimic locks the way they look and stuff like that so i would leave my hair like that to see how i felt about it and how you know how quickly i was ready to take them down and each time i installed the loose twists I wanted to keep them in longer and longer and longer and that's how i knew i was getting closer to that point of really making that ultimate commitment to getting locks and um yeah so that's when i made my decision and i was like okay march 2018 i'm gonna do my locks and install them and i'm gonna go from there so that's what i did and um i felt very confident about my decision and um, I was ready. Like I said, it took me two years. It's not a decision that you're gonna make overnight. All the benefits to locks really, really complements my lifestyle and what I want out of life, which is more time for everything else besides my hair. And being able to love the way my hair looks in the meantime, because I absolutely love the way locks look. I think they look organic. I think it's amazing how you can start them off and your hair kind of just does what it wants to do. You can really see your hair in its most natural form because you can go like without product sometimes, which I do. Like right now, I only have a little bit of oil in my hair and that's it. So yeah, once you feel like you want them, give yourself time, do some trial runs, kind of figure out, you know, like if it's something you really want, you know, you can do faux locks, you can do twists like I did and just see how you feel. And then once you get to that point to where you're ready to commit, you will know. Okay, so next I'm gonna talk about um, just from the beginning to my one year mark, some of the things I went through. Of course, I did two strength twist starter locks and I did say on a previous video that if I could do it over again, I probably would have got somebody to install them for me. But I installed them myself and I feel like the first couple months were just like excitement and just, you know, happy to be on the lock journey and all that stuff. It wasn't until month three going into four that my hair started to like do the things that natural hair does before it starts to lock and the locking process so my hair started to get frizzy i kept having to like um pop my locks and you know it looked a mess <laughs> it looked it didn't look like twists and it didn't look like locks it just looked like something in between so i had to deal with that um you guys seen the pictures and everything but i just stayed strong and some days when i just felt like uh, what am I doing with my hair? It's just looking crazy. Is this the right road for me? Did I make the right decision? I just put on a scarf or um, one of those little bandana things and go. And that got me through a lot of rough days where I just didn't want to do with my hair until I was ready. And then I washed it, I retwisted it, and then it was 
you know, really, really good. And so that went on from month three up into month nine, because you guys know at month nine, that's when I went and got my hair interlocked, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But up until that point, I was just maintaining my locks myself. So moving on to interlocking. I'm so happy to talk about interlocking because interlocking for me was a game changer in my lock journey. I feel like honestly, my locks probably wouldn't have survived if I hadn't decided to get her interlocked. I had been seeing a lot of stuff like if you interlock your hair, you have to keep interlocking it or it's going to mess your locks up. And then I would hear interlocking is bad for your locks because it puts too much tension. So I asked her, I gave her my concerns and she said basically interlocking is just going to last you longer than a retwist. She was like, you're going to get the same lock in the end. And this is going to last you longer if you're swimming or if you're active or, you know, you want to, to um, have a longer space between having to maintain your locks you go with interlocking. So when she put it that way, I was like, okay, yeah. And she charged me um, $30 extra to interlock. And I was like, that's fine, you know? And she did it and man, it was just so amazing. Like I, you guys have seen the pictures. I was so hyped because it was just like, my locks felt so intact. Like they just felt like, you know, with her tightening them at the root like that, it felt like it gave them the ability to just go ahead and, and sail on. You know what I mean? Um, it was just like, I could wash them, I could boil it and the stuff. And it was like not really affecting any of this, um, my roots and stuff. So I absolutely love the results. Now I have not went back and got it interlocked again, mainly because the last time I went to her, which was my second time, I wanted her to retwist it so I could see um, a professional retwist versus what I do to see like how it, you know, if it was worth getting it retwisted professionally or whatever. So since then, I've just been doing my locks myself and they like that interlocking helped them so much. Like I still deal with frizz, of course, but I'm able to go in and um, pop my locks and separate the strands and stuff and give it a good retwisting whenever I need to. I can, um, just, you know, do what I'm supposed to do with my hair to take care of it and go. And I feel like the interlocking really helped that. So I'm not trying to like push interlocking on anyone. I'm just saying like if you have been trying to figure out if you're on the journey and you're in the beginning and you're struggling and you don't know whether you want to retwist or interlock or whatever, I say go talk to someone, let them look at your hair and, you know, just try to decide what's going to be best for you. Because I have been retwisting my hair since I interlocked it and I haven't had any negativity or anything to come from that. Um, if anything, the interlocking just set up a better foundation for me to continue my lock journey. So that is my opinion on it and I highly recommend looking into it if it's something that you think you could benefit from. So last but not least, um, I'm almost at my 14 month mark. So I'm excited about that. Um, this is what my locks are looking like. Um, some of them, if you guys can remember, she pruned the ends and you can see like they're budding nicely at the ends or rounding when I run my fingers through it or whatever. I don't get like a lot of snagging or anything like that. So that's how I know that they are maturing and I'm finally able to do like little styles. I have like a little um, bobby pin up here to have this part back. And I'll turn it around so you guys can see the back. This is what it looks like. And I've been sleeping in my satin bonnet. And my regular routine for my locks is I just moisturize them when I feel like they need it. I use either rose water, regular water. Sometimes I use my follicle mist by Hydrothermal Naturals. And um, yeah, so that's all I do. And then I put some oil. Whatever kind of oil I have on hand, whatever I'm using, I put oil. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it answered any questions that you might have had. And I hope that if you are on a lock journey or considering to go on a lock journey, that this video is beneficial to you. I don't know everything, but I'm just sharing what I've learned over the course of one year. And I'm learning every single day. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll insert some pictures. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And everybody's watching her, but she's looking at you.